Hi there, and welcome to the Corporate Beanbag. Um, well, we're back to the issue uh, of the clever win for companies, and this one is the importance of an independent financial model. Um, now, I can't stress uh, enough how important it is um, for auditors, investors, um, to show that you've got the internal rigor to actually get an independent model. Uh, now, you've probably got a management cash flow. Um, if you don't, you should certainly create one, and that's your own view about the next 12 months, anywhere from 12 months to five years, let's say, of your management costs. Uh, costs hopefully growing in some ways, hopefully diminishing in others as you take advantage of technology, but use more people as well um, as you're selling more units or, or doing more. Um, so you start off with a, your own cash flow, what you might call the management cash flow, um, the management forecast, and then you can show that to an outside group and they can do an independent cash flow forecast, an independent model, financial model. Um, that's very, very important um, because it gives you outside input um, that, for example, external auditors, uh, stock exchange, external investors, bankers um, can rely on. You may have to show it to them under NDA, because it may be confidential or you may not be able to release it to the market if you're listed. Uh, but it's very, very important. Um, can't stress that enough. If you're not prepared to get an independent forecast, um, even though it's just a forecast, um, it basically flags to investors and auditors that there's some management reticence there. And unfortunately, that management reticence never comes from a good place, right? Never a good place. So um, it means there's a problem. So it's it's very important that you get an independent cash flow forecast. Um, some investors, private equity, so on and so forth, they'll they'll insist on it, um, or they'll get it themselves. Um, but it's it's best to create a management cash flow, and then go and seek an independent cash flow forecast because that will give you invaluable sort of insights into your own data things that you've missed and things that other groups are aware of as well. Very important for founders, for new businesses as well. You know, if you believe in something, that's great, but you need the backup in the annexures, the appendices to your information memorandum. Peter Thiel in his book, Zero to One, talks about, you know, what is a thing that you're certain of that very few people agree with? Um, often that's what underpins founders and founders' ideas for new companies, right? especially in tech. But as good as that is, uh, an independent uh, financial modeler should be able to actually demonstrate that through reasonable numbers. And then, of course, you can show what happens when your income or investment income goes down. So either your sales, or your investment income goes down, and maybe your costs go up, and you need to show that you can make it through that difficult period. So that's important or if your customers go away, or if the investors go away, so on and so forth, which is sort of the same thing, but more extreme. Um, so that's why it's very important, the independent uh, financial model, independent cash flow forecast. Um, as part of that, um, there is a difference between that and what you do yourself as management, creating the management cash flow, um, and it is of critical importance. But if you've got any questions, drop me a line on uh, at andrew at keops.au. That's andrew at keops.au. Love to hear from you.